So I think most of us are in pretty much the same position right now where we have been working from home for like two years, maybe more than two years. It's hard to separate the proper work-life balance. You're working really long hours. It's a lot of online meetings. You gotta answer a lot of chat messages, emails, blah, blah, blah. It's just nonstop work, like all the time. So after a really long workday, I occasionally pour myself a nice glass of apple juice just to help me wind down. And I prefer to drink it kind of lukewarm because that helps bring out all the nice flavors in the apple juice. But sometimes I like it ice cold. And for those special times when I like it ice cold, it immediately becomes a problem. So of course this isn't cold now. So now I'm faced with two options. And the first one is to realize that I'm always out of ice. So that leaves me kind of a secondary option. I could get some ice from my driveway because that's it's ice, it's cold. Well, I ended up with a glass full of dirty ice and gravel and leaves and all sorts of nasty things I don't want to drink. And no matter what kind of ice I use, it's still gonna get my drink watered down and I don't want to water down my apple juice. So we're gonna go with option B or two or the second option. And that requires a few extra steps. So the first step is to assemble our brand new 3D printer. Now the second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna print a 25 by 25 millimeter hollow cube. And the width of the walls are two millimeters, just to make it a little bit sturdy because it's gonna be completely hollow. And before it's actually completely done printing, we're gonna pause to print and we're gonna inject about 11 milliliters of water. So as you probably know, water expands when it freezes. So by injecting 11 milliliters of water, we leave 9% of free space in that little cube for the water to expand. And 9% is what, what it usually expands by. Go ahead and print yourself two of those, and then we're just gonna toss them in the freezer. And just a few hours later, we can finally enjoy a nice cold glass of apple juice. Cheers. Some good apple juice. So go check out this thing next and if you haven't already consider subscribing right about there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.